Hi there guys, it's Saturn here and today I'm going to be doing a video to show you how to make an MTASA server. Now, you'll need to make an MTASA server, say if you wanted to have a bunch of friends come on and play around. Um, you also would need an MTASA server if you wanted to develop. So today I'm going to be showing you just really how to get an MTASA server set up and what you need and how everything works. So first of all here you're going to need to download the um, installer from the MTSA website. I'd highly recommend you install um, Notepad++ and there's been a bit of controversy about it which is, you know, there's a pretty funny controversy going on about it but I'll leave that to another video so, okay. So just minimize this. Now, if you've got the installer and downloaded it and all that, it should be about 21 mega, um, about 20 um, 0.6 megabytes. So you want to just click on it, click run. Next, yes, I agree. And just keep going forward until you get to the screen. I'm going to show you in a sec. Okay, so all right. Now we don't want to install the actual game client. We just want to install the server. So what we're going to do is we're just going to deselect all these. We're going to click on server only. Now, if you want to host your own, um, you know, server, and if you're not uh, not planning to do any development, um, there is a pretty good chance that you um, would want to keep everything here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just untick all this because I don't want to use default game modes. I'll keep AMX emulation. I'm not particularly sure what that is, but I'll keep it anyway. I'll also keep the editor and the SDK. Um, I'll download that as well since I'm learning C++. So anyways here, um, you don't want to install the game client. It's not relevant. So just click up here and go to custom. And you want to make sure you've installed the core resources or else you'll need to basically write everything from scratch, which I may end up doing. So, I'm pretty much happy with this, so we're going to click next. Now, I'd recommend you install this to um, a customized directory instead of the default directory, since it does make things a little bit easier, which in this case here I have it on local disk F, MTA dev. So, next. And there we have it. We have our MTSA server file. So, I'll quickly go ahead and delete this uninstaller. I'll just keep the um, development thing there. So here we have our server files. We have the executable and all the dynamic link libraries connected to it. So what you want to do first is go into exe. This will just go ahead and initialize everything to make sure it's working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to mods, deathmatch, access control list. Now you need to put at, um, user accounts under the access uh, control list in order for them to be recognized as administrative accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and put the account Atten under here so I can of course log in as an administrator. So if you want to make accounts you know, admin accounts or make a resource an admin resource so that it can access restricted functionality. You can essentially give it, you know, access to the admin group. So you just basically put them down here. It shouldn't be that hard. So I'll pretty much leave links um below to information. Like you can find this all on the wiki, so yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to MTA server, the configuration file. Now here's where you can change your server name, you can change the maximum number of players. You can also make um you know quite a few changes. You can also set a password, however I don't recommend making use of passwords since um passwords do, you know, sometimes get leaked, so I would just recommend that you make use of serial and uh password identification rather than making use of any sort of password like default server password so I'd recommend you just leave this area blank if you do want to secure your server again here having a login panel with no register button or and um, using serial 
a serial kicker is I'd recommend it over using a um password. So everything here is fine. You really don't need to mess with these settings down here. So we're just going to close this. And we're going to start the server right now. Now, we've gone ahead and defined um Atten the Atten account as an administrator as an administrator account. So what we want to do here is do add account Atten and the password will be one two three four. And there we have it. In the actual game client you can do register and log in to basically create an account but you know in this case I'm just using add account since it's easy. Now another thing I just want to say very quickly here is that when you register an account on MTA here what happens is that you know assuming you're using the regular account system your um account data will be stored within I believe it's the registry.db file here and your password will be hashed so essentially here if you choose to um you know register onto a MTA server here they won't actually have your password but they'll have what's called a hash which is essentially a summary of your password so yeah I'm gonna end my video here and let you guys go ahead and try this out um, if you want to make the server public chances are you will need to do um, port forwarding which I can make a video for but however due to the fact that um, routers are you know often drastically different it's very hard to come up with a video that will you know affect it, it will be very hard to make a video that will show you you know how to port forward and all that and you know how to do it across all kinds of different routers so I may or may not make a video on that but chances are on the MTA forum if you um, look for some assistance you might be able to figure it out and you can also figure it out using perhaps an instruction manual, manual or just getting a very you know easy to use router again ending the video here and I'll just let you guys give it a go um, I plan to make some videos on uh, development so yeah also on another note and something else I forgot to tell you is that you can put your community resources in here so if you don't want to develop you can do that but I'll leave that till later. See you guys.